In this session, we'll be discussing the extrusion feature. Extrusion in Pro Engineer is a basic skill that's used more than any other feature to create three dimensional objects. It's a good practice to spend some time exploring its options. The word extrusion in Pro Engineer is a genetic term that's used for both a protrusion, which adds material to a part, and a cut that removes material from a part. Extrusion icon is located on the right side of your screen, part of the vertical basic feature toolbar. The icon itself looks like an enlonged cube. Once the icon is clicked, the extrusion dashboard opens. Notice that I have my dashboard set on top of the screen for clarity purposes. Yours is most likely to open on the bottom of the screen. The options in the extrusion dashboard are extrude as salad, extrude as surface. Depth options are in a slide down menu and they are from top to bottom. Blind option which extrudes a section from a sketch and plane by a specified value. You'll have to type in the value depth field. Notice if you specify a negative value, it will flip the direction of the extrusion. Second option is symmetric. It extrudes a section on each side of the sketch and plane by half of the specified value. This option you also have to key in the value. The third option is to next surface. This option will extrude a section to the first surface it reaches. The fourth depth option is through all. A section is extruded to intersect with all surfaces. With this option, the section is extended to the last surface it reaches. With this option, it's not required to key in a depth value. The fifth depth option extrude until intersection with a selected surface or a plane. Obviously, with this option, it's required to select a surface or a plane. The last depth option is extrude to a reference. This differs from the previous option that it's not only limited to a surface or a plane, but the reference may be a point or an end. Depth field is where you type the depth numerical value. Flip button. Toggle on this button flips the extrusion direction. Cut options, which is a protrusion to a cut. The extruded section is defined in two ways. First is to draw an external section and link it using the placement tab. The second method is to define an internal section within the extrusion feature. While the sketch is selected, click on the extrusion icon. Expand the placement tab to ensure that the correct sketch is linked. Change the depth option to design intent. Remember that the blind option requires keying in the depth numerical value. Notice that extrusion display when depth option is changed to symmetric. Also notice the display of the part when I click on the thickened feature. Let's change the thickness. The flip option changes the direction of the thickness. First outside the section, symmetric about the section, and inside the section. Uncheck the thickened feature to resume that old option. Click on the accept and build icon. The next extrusion is a cut, and it will have an internal section. Notice the highlighted surfaces selected to orient the sketch. Define the section to design intent. Click on the Accept icon. 
Notice that the default extrusion direction is often outside the port. Click on the flip button to change direction. Change the depth option to through all. Notice that the through all option does not require a specific depth value. Click on the cut option. Preview. Accept and build. Next we'll define a cut with another internal sketch. Notice the highlighted surface is selected to orient the sketch. It's important to understand the reference in process. To reference, click on Sketch, then Reference. A dialog box opens. Change the filter to Desired Feature and select Feature to Reference. Define the sketch to design intent. And click on the accept icon. Click on the flip button to change direction. Change the depth option to extrude to a reference. This option too does not require a specific depth value. Click on the cut option. Notice the highlighted surface. Accept unbuild.